A warm welcome back to Edgewater, Saskatchewan for episode 31 with me, Mr. CDP. Hello again, everybody. I hope you're all well. Um, Edgewater, Saskatchewan. I've got a bit of a problem. <laughs> Potentially disastrous. Hey, it wouldn't be one of my videos if there wasn't something catastrophic happening. Um, chickens, mega chicky one is is... Well, I say it's going well. It's not going well. I just had a load of messages come up, which I probably will do again in a moment. Yeah, I'm saying no more space for egg pallets, but I haven't got any egg pallets yet. It's not like they're full. They've literally just sort of started going. What I think the problem is, and I'm, this is going to be a... We'll check it out and find out. I think this is what it is. Liftable pallets mod. I think it's not compatible with liftable pallets. I remember when I did Western Wilds, I had people messaging me saying they were using those large chicken barns and they weren't getting any pallets spawning at all. I think it might be a conflict between the liftable pallets mod and the chicken barn mod, potentially. So what I've got to do, I have to sell all my pallets. So I'm going to get rid of all the honey pallets. I'm going to get the honey, the fabric. They're going to go on the train like I did before. We're going to send those off to Saskatoon. And the wool and... Um, cotton I've got already that's going to go up to the spinnery and I don't think I've got any pallets sitting by any of the other productions because if I then take away the liftable pallets mod any pallets that I've got already on the map they will vanish so that's also something to be aware of if you have the mod installed or a mod like this installed and you decide actually I don't want to use that anymore or it's conflicting with something I'll turn it off I'll deselect it any pallets you've got on the map will go so what I'm going to do I'm going to load all these up I'm going to get them all on. <laughs> you can't make this up, can you? I'll get these all on. And then we'll um, sell them. I'll sort that out and then hopefully our eggs will spawn. So what I mean, what I was intending to do, I was going to skip ahead. No, it's too many. Too many. I was hoping to skip ahead. So I could get onto planting. I can't do cotton. If I'm going to do cotton, that's not until the month after. So I've got a little bit of... Uh, work to do but I'm going to do a wheat or barley field to feed the chickens first I'm going to buy a new planter I'm going to buy a new fertilizer spreader and I want to see how many eggs we get I'm probably going to get an auto load vehicle for the egg boxes because I'm assuming there's going to be quite a lot of them so if there's going to be quite a lot of them I mean I could do them all by hand or I could do them all like this um, we'll see plus I'm going to put in the new milk drink factory and we'll get some of the milk delivered over there and we'll get that in so that's my plan that's what I want to get done hopefully we'll see how that pans out I uh, should have enough room to get my there we go um, my fabric on as well I could be making the fabric into clothes. Oh, that was suggested. Somebody said, "Why, why are you not doing that?" Um, I, we've, we're running. We've run some productions. We are running some productions. I don't know. I just thought, well, we'd, we'd sort of just sell the stuff as is at the, for the moment. Wool and cotton has dropped off. Actually, turns out there's a better price at the moment at the farmers market right up here than it is at Saskatoon for both of these for honey and fabric. So. Um, there isn't a tailor's and I'm thinking should I put one in but then the cost of putting in I suppose like anything like I always say the cost of putting it in in the long run it will pay off hmm tricky one isn't it so I've got 7,000 litres of fabric oh, I'll sell it for the moment um, we'll sort out the dairy in a little while just outside just need to clear all these pallets once I've got the pallets cleared we're good to go. Um, I'm sure, I said farmers market. It's just the farmers market, and there are two sell points here. There's one around the front as well, but there is pallets and grain type things. Oh, it's next to it. For the sake of a few pence, cents.
There we go, that's more like it. Fifty-seven grand? What? Bonus! I mean, <laughs> not that I'm sure of a few bob. So I'm going to head back then. Uh, what I will do, I will sort out the removal of the liftable pallets and then we'll hopefully see some eggs start spawning and then that should alleviate that problem uh, then we'll sort out getting the um, milk drink factory in I'll deliver the milk I've got already and then we'll skip forward I think to April where I can do wheat or barley planting and I think it's May for cotton um, but I'm probably just going to get the wheat or barley in today and then it fertilised, so we've got a couple of bits of machinery to buy as well. So yeah, a few things today. Sorting out one problem and then uh, adding in some other cool stuff. So that should have our problem resolved. Oh, I need to move those forks. But <gasps> Just absolute carnage. Can't trust me to do anything. Probably not the best idea having this running through the sheep pen, is it? <laughs> Come on. Out of the way. There we go. Let's open our covers. Oh, there's the milk churns. filling up. How much have we got in here? Manure. Uh, 180,000 litres. Cool. Oh, we've got that slurry as well, haven't we? I forgot all about that. So, fingers crossed. Huh. We have resolved the issue. Please tell me we've got an egg planet. Oh, no. Maybe I need to speed up time a little bit just to double check. Let's have a quick look. It's only showing productivity at 10% at the moment. I mustn't forget as well that I didn't fill this up to capacity, did I? I put about 30,000 litres in each one. So when we skip ahead to tomorrow, gauging how much it's used in a day, we can then work out how many days roughly we're going to get away with. I don't know. Well, let's go and sort the milk out first. If I sort the milk out, then we'll come back and we can double check. How much have we got in here? 67,000 litres. I'm sure we had 90 something thousand, so this will get us started off anyway. Let's go around. So I'm going to um, actually put it in down near where the standard dairy is. I thought about having it at the farm and I thought, well, no, because we want to have it probably down where um, the, sort of the town is, I think. I was going to put it on my plot with my other, with the straw processing and the manure production. And I thought, no, I'm not going to do it either. We're going to put it actually sort of in where the other productions are. So we'll head over, all over there get this in. Um, just trying to think, what do I need? I wonder if there's, I don't know if there's a sell point actually that goes with it maybe. I'm pretty sure to sell everything, I'll be able to sell it there, but normally, whoa, heavy, heavy, whoa, that did not want to stop. That's some weight to it. Whoa. So, I'm thinking, if it'll fit, which I hope it will. In around here somewhere. As far as I know, it just does the drink, you see. 
So what I could do, if I'm bringing milk down there anyway, the dairy's just over there. I could buy the dairy. So if I want to do cheese, I can't do chocolate. I'm going to sugar, but regular milk. I'm thinking it's a big space here. Yeah, I reckon here. Yeah. There we go. 70 grand. It's in. What can I do here, though? Right, I've got oat. Oh, no. You're joking. <laughs> oh, no. It's my own fault. I honestly thought, I thought the chocolate milk, yeah, that's going to need sugar. Or chocolate. Strawberry milk, I honestly thought it was just oats and milk, soya milk, strawberries and milk. Because I could change one of my greenhouses over to strawberries or run strawberries as well. But I need sugar for all of them. I don't have any sugar. That was a waste of time. Um... And money. I'm doing well so far today, aren't I? No eggs being produced. That was a waste. Um, oh, man. I'm sure when I check that. How do I get sugar? How am I going to get sugar? Which means I've got to have a sugar mill. I suppose I could just buy pallets of sugar, but that's just a extravagance when I've got the milk here already oh so do I just buy the regular dairy make cheese or something or do I just go completely old school and just sell the milk what's milk selling for and where The dairy is one three. The cows are going to carry on producing it um, while I think of potentially what I could do about sugar or. Oh man. price here you will only can sell it here if you've got a con no if you've got a con that's not right I thought it was just a sell point but apparently not oh there we go oh, just as I was about to drive away is that all it takes okay <laughs> Oh. I potentially. Oh, I shouldn't really say anything. So I've potentially got some good news moving forward for something that might happen. But I can't say for definite it's going. Oh, I shouldn't. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't say anything. I can't guarantee anything. So I have invested in the town <laughs> by placing another factory. If anyone else, else wants to use it, feel free, it's here. You go for it. Let's go back and check on the chickens and then we'll sort out. I'm not sure whether or not. I'm thinking cedars, whether the one I've got does everything, but I 
wanted to go slightly bigger. But the one I was looking at is not a cedar, it's a planter, which doesn't help me for seed, uh, for wheat or barley, but it will do for doing cotton. But I suppose we could have a look at potentially going bigger for our old cedar, so we can sell that one and get another one. I've got all that seed to collect down here as well, haven't I? Because I left it running, didn't I? Cost me a hundred grand. I've got so much seed there, it's ridiculous. Oh, right back to the chickens. Something will go right in this episode. Promise. Right, let's have a look. Oh, okay. We've got an eggs, an eggs box. <laughs> eggs box 360. We've got, yes, we've got eggs, okay. That's good, no more messages come up saying no more space for eggs. Right, I will see you, I better check that as well, because that will be something else that will go wrong, won't it? Um, that won't be tomorrow, will it? April. So, yeah, into April then, we'll get wheat or barley in, and then, if I'm going to do cotton, that'll be May, so I'm going to need to look at, I don't even want to get a bigger cedar. So we'll take the cedar back, we'll get that. Yeah, okay, right, well, I'll see you. Probably in April. Um, I might skip ahead and leave the animal feed. Well, so I don't, yeah, my OCD won't, see a lot of people, I say a lot of people, some people will allow their animals, the feed to go down, 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 and then they'll spend a bit of time topping it all up. I, I just, I tend to find I'm doing it every day just because I don't like to see it dropping, but I don't know. I'll see you when we're ready to see if that's probably okay. That's all I can say, and we'll see how many eggs we've got as well, and see about loading up and what we're going to do. I might do them manually to start off with. If, if it gets too much, we'll see how many we get. I may then have to decide to change my, uh, my thoughts on that. Oh, don't walk towards me. Okay, it's March 2. We're not into the planting yet, but I wanted to show you how we're looking with regard to eggs. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I have topped up each of the feeds. I'm running two day months, and for one of the days, so half of the month, it used about 6,500 litres. I've bought over everything I had, all the barley's gone now, so all I'm producing now is what's coming out of those two greenhouses, which is not enough to sustain me. Each one of these is sitting on about 30 to 32,000 litres now, so that should last me a couple of months. That's not going to get through, me through to the next harvest. There's absolutely no way it will, um, but we'll get a lot of eggs in that time. I may well end up having to buy some feed for the chickens. But we'll see when we get to that point. The greenhouse will still keep those greenhouses will keep still chugging away um, sorghum and wheat, and obviously the oats I can't use. But I could sell the oats to buy a chicken feed. I mean, there's all different ways around it. Um, but what I was also thinking, since we're sitting on a lot of money now, it's probably not a bad idea to buy some more fields. So I'm thinking, I'm going to buy field 15, 421 grand. Let's buy that. And I was thinking. Field, well, it's seven, but five as well. We don't get as much land with that. I'm wondering whether or not to get that. 270 grand, because then we can run that right through. You know what? Let's do it. I'm saying, we've got the money, so why not? Um, what I need to do now is go and check on... We're going to, need to get some soil sampling done, so I guess the other thing to do is let's plop down to there. Unlike on um, Carpathian, where I went out and actually did the soil sampling, on this one we have been buying soil samples. So what we will do is purchase soil information. 25 grand. <laughs> okay. And that one. Another nearly 17. So we've got our soil information on there. So what I now need to do is... Yep, it's going to need some liming. Nitrogen we don't have to worry about yet. But I think, if I'm not mistaken, if we go up one and go across to growth, 
they're both cultivated so i won't have to worry i mean they're all cultivated so if i don't get a direct draw it's not the end of the world but i need to get and lime those so i'm going to do my purchase that i was going to get um i was going to wait and use it for fertilizing but since i need to lime and we have got lime i was intending uh what's it under i can't remember it's on the crop protection. There we go. The trident. I was going to get that. And then, I think... Where would the back be? Fertilizer spreaders? That will do lime or fertilizer. 42 metre spread. 18,500 litre. To go on the back of it. We've got the forklift truck down at the store, so we can lift it up and put it on the back. So we've got a self-propelled fertilizer and limer. That's the plan. So let's buy that. Let's go back to there. What do I want to do on this? Well, you'll see in a minute. Let's get this. That's actually that's really cool, isn't it? I do like that. Okay, I've gone for, for flotation tyres while I'm doing this. When we come to fertilising, I'll swap it over and probably put row crops on. If I decide to go for a liquid back on it, if we get weeds and stuff come up and I want to do herbicide spraying, um, I can get the other back. There's another back for it for spraying, which should be, he says. Um, where are we? Under sprayers. There we go. The Trident liquid system. So if, if we come to do weeds... We can use that and get some herbicide. Um, so that should work. All I've got to do now is go over to my um, my lime facility. We'll fill up on lime and I'll get those two fields sorted out. This doesn't have all-wheel steer. I thought it would have all-wheel steer, but it's not. Although we can widen this, I think. Um, change our work width. Automatic application, automatic application rate and widen our track. But I don't think we've got. Uh, no. Turn on crop sensor. Yeah, we've got all the stuff. Right, so I'll see you on the field in a minute. Because when I when I bought the um, was it the robust? I, and I but I bought it and I'm thinking that'd be brilliant. And then thought with the fertiliser I'm selling, I could get a self-propelled, and I haven't got to worry then. Plus, it's case kind of adding into our uh, our case farm. Why not? I like it.
Liming on our two new fields was complete, um, and as you've seen, excellent news. Uh, the eggs, we've got loads, we we'll have to go and sell them at some point. Uh, but it's time for the new cedar. I've still got the planter slash cedar, but I'm probably going to buy a bigger plant when we come to planting. But as far as seeding goes, I think I'm going to have four. I looked, there's the John Deere, there's the Borgo seed drills, there's the seed hawk set, the hats and bickler. If we're going to go big, big, you know. So I'm thinking I might go seed hawk. Uh, so what I'm going to do is grab the tank. We'll go over to, because I've, so I've got a load of seed over there. I'm going to get the seeding done. And what I'm intending to do is, our field here, field one that blends into 51, probably do wheat. Five and eight can, well, joined. I'm probably going to do barley. So we've got feed for the chickens. Because if they're going to be producing eggs like they are, and if they double, of course we've only got we've only got we've only got ten thousand at the moment. But once they reproduce, we have twenty thousand chickens, so we're going to need a lot of feed. And then these fields up here, I'm going to do cotton in, um, but we can't do cotton harvest until next month. So um, yeah, that's where we're at. I started off by saying no, about chickens. Um, Stuart messaged me. I think it was Stuart. Said he works at a poultry farm, and about the episode where I did make a chicky one. And he said each of their barns holds 50, 51,000 or something chickens. The total farm, poultry farm, something like 430,000 birds. That's <laughs> all. Can't get your head around it. You cannot get your head around it. Anyway. What's going on? Why can't I access the. Oh, there we go. Whew. Um, used vehicle sale. I had a quick look this morning when we woke up. Um, not much that I want. So. Yeah. I think I'm going to leave it. Uh, do I want jewels? I don't know. No, I don't think I want jewels. What's other options? Hang on. Oh, we can have tracks, can't we? Do I want tracks? Um, I think I want wheels, actually. Michelin. Do we want toe between or toe behind? I think toe between. Go see talk. Conveyor system. Do we want the conveyor system? Well, uh, yeah, why not? Might as well. Uh, let's buy that. Then the drill itself, I think we'll just leave it as it is. Uh, this is the toe behind, isn't it? Hang on. No, hang on, because I've got the seed tank, the pipes on this need to be at the front, so they'll hook onto the seed tender. If I do that, that puts it behind the tractor with the seed tender behind. That's right, isn't it? I think. I will find it. I can always change it if, if I'm wrong. Uh, let's buy that. So. That should work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the seed tender first. And we'll, we'll go over and grab seed. I don't know if it's going to fit through the door. Just going to thought that as well. And I forgot to have a look and see uh, what the um, requirement is for horsepower. We should be all right with this. This has got 600, hasn't it? I'm trying to think. I'm sure it's 600. If not, we've got the big. We've got the bigger case, so we can always use that. Oh, that was weird. I thought there was no traffic from it, but there is traffic. Isn't there? It's not like we're that early in the morning either. Yeah, so you'll see the, the mistake I made ha, 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 with the seed momentarily, but I'm just thinking actually whether or not I might just get the forklift over and get some of these boxes out because I don't think we're going to be able to. If we, even, if, even if we can get this in there, I can't open up the uh, auger in there, I don't think. No, we're not going to get in that door, are we? 
couple of bags outside left over from before so yeah you'll see that that's full plus I think it's full at 17,000 where's the thing is it here seed 18,000 litres stored as well as all that out as well so yeah I've got way too much yeah I'm not gonna get through the door am I let's see Oh, now, first tank is... Is it all seed? I'm trying to think. Is it seed and fertiliser? I can't remember. I should have looked while I was doing it. Seed and fertiliser. But it won't pick it up if it's the wrong thing, will it? So... There we go. Right, I'll carry on filling this up. Um, like I say, I'll probably get the forklift over, get some of those boxes outside, and we'll get this filled right up. And then we'll get out. Oh, okay, that's the entire area. Hold it away. And what I'll probably do is get one field done, then I'll get the fertiliser out and we'll get that going on the trident. And then the rest of the field I think I'll do off camera because it's, it's going to be a bit of time it's going to take the big fields, but that's why I've gone for a slightly bigger cedar. So hopefully we'll be all right. We're filled up, we're good to go. I'll tell you what, driving this on the main roads is an interesting proposition and we're quite lucky that we've got the uh, verges out on the sides because it's um, it's a big old beastie. I mean, not as big as they get, but it is big. So, I've changed my mind, I'm gonna do sorghum. Um, I've done wheat and barley a, a lot, so recently, but I have done it. So I thought, you know what? Let's do some sorghum. So this whole lot here will be sorghum, and then I'll probably do wheat or barley in that one, and then cotton over the back. I think. Yeah, then we'll do that. I say it's not as wide as I mean, this is. What nineteen? Is it nineteen? I want to say nineteen point two or something like that. I know the Borgo one's got up to thirty. Is it thirty point five? We'll do. Seeding should get rid of the weeds, and then like I say, if we get weeds grow up after that, then we'll worry about that with um, herbicide. Or the reason I was doing it on Carpathian is. Oh, I love the sound of that. Oh, we got stones in here. Well, that's not good. Oh, maybe are they small? Maybe we can roll those back in. I wasn't sure whether this um, smaller case would pull this. I mean, it's like I say, it's got 600 horsepower, so there's no reason why it wouldn't. And it's a fairly flat um, field, so we should be okay. We've got that articulation with articulation with articulation, so <laughs> I'm never that great with doing it like that, but we should be alright. Forgetting about rolling as well. Yeah, I'm gonna miss bits, aren't I? Straighten up, straighten up, straighten up, straighten up. There we go. Get around the corner. So yeah, bigger cedar, bigger tank. I mean, this should last quite a while. Eleven thousand liters of seed with precision on, and it's putting down what it needs for the particular soil types. We shouldn't be honking through seed like we, you, know, you can do at different times. Let's just say that. 
and then we'll get the fertilizer on and we'll worry about the rest afterwards. And then we should be perfect. Not me, obviously, but the uh, the fields at least. That's where we need to be. Come on, swing that around again. There we go. Once I've gone around the outside, we should be all right. Because it, it's a bit more forgiving if you overlap a little bit. Whereas getting around the edges needs to be a little bit more precise, I guess. Now, I could have, if I wanted to, the gap between these two fields, I could have ploughed out. But I decided to leave it. Because if I wanted to at any point, if I want to put two different crops in the ground, it delineates the fields nice and neatly. So I did leave the, the fields as two separate ones. And we'll see how we go. We're looking out across the field now. <laughs> it's like with anything, it's just, a, it's just a, a thing of scale, isn't it? You know, you get a bigger cedar and you think, brilliant. And then you come out to a field like this, where you've got two fields together and they're big fields, and you say, think, actually, this seems tiny. <laughs> Maybe I should have gone for the ball go, you know. But it gives you somewhere to go. If, if You know, I've bought this now. I could buy a second one of these. Or I could then say, you know what? I've done a couple of fields with this. I should have gone bigger. Let's upgrade. And we can do it if we want. But for the time being, I'll stick with the sea talk. I prefer it with the wheels, actually. I'm, I'm normally a bit of a track guy. I'm a bit of a track fiend. I do like tracks on things and you know a lot of trailer mods that have tracks and i tend to opt for the tracks but for some reason on this it, i personally i just didn't think it looked right i just you know, felt tires were the way to go so i will see you in a little while no in the tree in the tree can we keep going nope still going around it as i said articulation on articulation come on just need to straighten up a bit. It's not going to do it, is it? Nope. Come on, swing tighter, swing tighter. I'm in the tree. No. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you later on. Once I've got um, detached from this tree. There we go, we straighten up a little bit now. And I did get the connections the, quite, the correct way around, so all my pipes do go from the seed tender out to this behind. They all hooked up nice and neatly. I've hired a worker. We're part way across that field. Time to start getting fertiliser on. I think I've still, still got some stores in there. Yep. Oh, must we get to sell those eggs? Um, egg prices, I was looking to see if there was, because uh, there's a few different egg sell point mods and things about, but there's a few places across the map to sell that uh, buy eggs. And the prices are up around 1,500, I think, at the moment, so pretty good. I'm starting to get bigger machinery as well now, which is going to start filling up these sheds. Because for a while I bought the farm, I thought I haven't really, I've got some equipment machinery in it, but not a huge amount, but I suppose. Oh, I need to check on the pigs. I've watered them, but I haven't fed them. I need to check on their feed situation. I've taken a load of fencing away as well. I don't know if you noticed already, but um, because I thought the bigger seed is being a little bit more cumbersome and requiring a bit more turning room, it would make a bit more sense to have a, um, a little bit of a runoff if we if we can. So I've taken the fences along the other side of the road, which makes life a little bit easier. And I'll do the other ones the other side in a bit so we'll start off we are on application rate automatic sorghum on sandy loam let's get going this field the top portion of this one hasn't got any stones on it but the bottom field with the separation has oh, a couple of bits on that to do again oh, that's weird seems to have missed a bit Shouldn't take too long actually doing this. And then I'll get the roller on it. Um, I, did, I said I was going to do sorghum in this one, didn't I? And then the one opposite across the road to our east, I'm going to do barley, not wheat. So it won't all be sorghum, but we should have plenty for feeding the chickens. I can do that. 
it does make life a little bit easier once you start getting to self-propelled equipment i know they're expensive to buy initially and if you've got the money like we have now we're in a situation where we can afford to it, it means you're not tying up all your tractors and if you have got workers doing other jobs elsewhere but as we keep saying there are so many different ways of playing the game so many different ways of doing it it depends what style of farming you're doing not all farms can afford this sort of thing if you've got big farms with big equipment and machinery then having self-propelled units works quite well i know millennial farmer does welker farms do um cold the corn star you know a lot of the guys they have their self-propelled sprayers and fertilizer spreaders and that kind of stuff up to that top section of well i like this Check that because I can't tell. No, it hasn't said, does it? Wonder why. Might just be the turn. I have found if you hire a worker the first couple of turns on this, um, because it's a long bit of equipment, it takes a really long time. It needs a lot, a lot of it takes a long time. It needs a big turning circle. So, whereas normally I would allow a couple of headlands the width of whatever you're pulling. But what I didn't allow for, I guess, was the fact you've got, you see it's slowing down already, is you've got the um, tender on the seed tender on the back. So whereas normally I would allow a couple of widths of the cedar, you've got to allow for that. That's got to turn as well, I suppose. I'll let it turn again. If it leaves a gap again, um, which means I'm going to have to come back and do all these, I'm going to have to go up and down just for one little strip. If we can avoid it, what I might do is run another strip that way, just to give ourselves a little bit more turning room. Yeah, it's gone down. Oh no, it's gone down the ditch. So I've got enough of to pull it all out. That's not what you want to see, is it? Yeah, look at that for a turning circle. That's crazy. Will it line back up again? It seems to be. Yeah, it's obviously a sample for some reason. I'll come back to it later on. Sorghum planting is done and fertilising. I've started over here. You might be able to see, I've just gone around the edges over that side. I haven't done the rest of it yet. Just to put in barley in, including over by the greenhouses. That's a little bit trickier because it's um, yeah, it's a bigger proposition. Um, but we're now onto rolling this side. So what I'm going to do is going to get to a point where I can set a worker off to carry on doing that, and then I can get on with catch up with the rolling and catch up with the fertiliser spreading while the workers doing the planting so that'll be all that sorghum all this barley then i have to wait till the next month rolls forward and then we can look at our cotton situation um eggs excellent um we did well with our eighty four thousand eight hundred and four. was it something like that if you work it out that worked it was a month wasn't it um well just under a month uh, under a month's worth of eggs if I was to buy any grain to tie this over, which we won't have to worry about yet, but if I have to, that can come out of that money. But based on that, looking at it as a long-term prospect, bearing in mind we've only got half the amount of chickens that those pens will hold, that will pay for itself in a year. And if we get 
if once they reproduce and we've got double the amount of chickens if it doubles up and get double amount of the eggs um yeah it will more than pay for itself and if we if if, if we have to buy any chicken field it will chicken field chicken feed it will sort that out too so this should small stones yeah roll back in so i said at the start i was hoping to get to this point where i could get the fields at least seeded fertilized and then we could start on the rolling which i am and we will carry on moving forward like i said when we get weeds up here we'll i'll probably see you next when we look at the cotton situation my planter my original planter or seeder slash planter i haven't got rid of it i've kept it we can do our cotton with that but i was thinking of getting something bigger i was thinking of one of the john deere's the db120 i think it is just to have a bit more oomph but again we'll see when we get around to that but um it's all going rather well again apart from that slightly milky mistake at the start but i won't talk about that i'll think about what i want to do about sugar moving forward but i hope you've enjoyed it if you have please give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do Thanks for watching.